Yeah, so I had here this problem with the App Store for a couple of weeks now and I finally figured out how to fix this and so now I want to share this today with you. So uh, let me explain. So uh, first of all here on the uh, icon for the App Store there's always here this uh, number here that tells you how many updates there are available. And now in this case I have here this GarageBand update and also had a different couple of other applications that were supposed to be updated. And now when you press here on the update button, then the following happens. You see here, it tells you update unavailable with this Apple ID. This update is not available for this Apple ID either because it was bought by a different user or the item was refunded or canceled. And uh, yeah, so this is GarageBand in this case. You don't have to buy this. So it doesn't make even any sense that this was bought by a different Apple ID. So this should just work. And uh, even if you go here to your account, then eventually there would be like a different item here on the top. And it would tell you something like you have to accept these applications into your to be added to your Apple ID and even if you clicked on that then it, you would get another error message. So in order to uh, get this update there's a simple fix. So I would go to the applications folder here in Finder and I would just take here in this case GarageBand and I just move it into the trash. So now if you go back to the App Store you see here the update has been removed but now here you can go into the search bar and you just search for GarageBand and it will tell you now here you can get GarageBand and it just lets you install this application and you're just going to accept this and now it is going to install the new application the GarageBand from the beginning so it will install the will download the entire app with the latest updates and you won't see this update icon here in the App Store icon anymore. Yeah, so this is how you can get this downloaded. And so yeah, this will probably work for you too. You can see here I already did the same thing with pages, keynote and numbers. I had the same problem with those three apps. And this is the way that I was able to fix this. Okay, so yeah, let me know if this fix also worked for you. And if you have any comments or questions, then please leave a message below.